Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to get ready and try and fix how tired I look. I am out of my Guerlain primer, so I've been trying to test out different primers. And now I'm going to mix the Becca Backlight Priming Filter with the Becca First Light Priming Filter. The Backlight Priming Filter is more of a beige color. And I have a swatch on the back of my hand. And the First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh is a purple tint. So... I'm just trying these. I got some deluxe samples of them to see if I like them. I'm just going to put that everywhere else just for my skin to be a little bit glowy and fresh and awake because I have an 18 month old who didn't sleep good the last couple nights. My three year old has a cold. And my seven-year-old is on the mend from an ear infection. And it's summer break. So it's been exhausting. Now I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. And I am in the color 2C1 Ecru. I'm just going to take a few pumps on the back of my hand. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques beauty sponge and just pat this in. And on top of that, it's been raining the last couple of days, so they can't really get their energy out by playing outside because it's been raining so hard. So it's just been a mess over here and I have to get ready to run errands and get some stuff done. And I'm going to do probably like a more grungy eye look to hide how tired I really am. And make it look like it's done on purpose. I love this foundation. It's definitely one of my favorites. I go between this, my Clinique Beyond Perfecting, and my Giorgio Armani um, Power Fabric. Those are my top three. Okay, for concealer because I definitely need it. I'm going to first go in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in Peach and try to counteract some of the darkness in the corners of my eyes because it is real. Okay, then to conceal, I'm going to take my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in vanilla, bring it down the sides of my nose and under my eyes. I always start at the side of my nose so that most of the concealer goes there and it doesn't look too heavy underneath my eyes because I do have, I do have some you know, little creases and wrinkles starting, and I don't want them to be enhanced by my concealer. And then I'm just going to bring that on my chin. A little bit down my nose. And right in between my brows, up onto my forehead so that I get the illusion of a little bit of a bigger forehead because I don't have very much space up here. 
I'm going to do my brows with the e.l.f. brow pencil in neutral brown and I'm just going to lightly fill in the front of my brow and then shape my brows and fill them in. This eyebrow pencil is so creamy, you don't need a heavy hand with it, and it blends out really nice. So you can go dramatic or you can go more natural. It's a great brow product. I used to use the Anastasia Brow Definer, the slanted pencil, and then I found this, and I just love this pencil, and it's like $3, so you can't beat it. There we go. I'm going to set that with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And then to set my under eye, I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Power. The Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. I love this powder, it's beautiful, especially underneath the eyes. So I'm just gonna take that on a BH Cosmetics brush and pat that under my eyes. And down my... For the rest of my face, I'm going to use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium Plus. I go between this and the Neutrogena um, Rice Powder Setting Powder. That one's really nice too, but it's in my um, like travel makeup bag. So this is what I'm going to use. For bronzer, I'm going to use City Color Be Matte Blush in Toasted Coconut. I know this is a blush, but it is more of like a bronzy color. And I like using this as a bronzer. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. So I'm just going to start in the hairline and lightly bring it down. Then I hit the tops of my cheekbones. And this is the Sephora Pro Fan, Pro Fan Brush. Just gives a beautiful, natural, bronzy color to the face. I was really surprised by this product because it is a more affordable brand, so they can be hit and miss, but this color is just beautiful. To contour, I'm using my MAC Sculpting Powder in Sculpt. And I'm just patting that in and slightly blending it up. Then with a fluffy brush, this one is the Morphe M200, I'm going to take some of that and just go down 
the sides of my nose. up into the brows. And I like to make my nose look just a little bit shorter, so I bring it under. And then just a little bit on top because I do have a bump on my nose. For blush, I'm going to take my Tarte Blush in Idle on a Luxie 504 Large Angled. For highlight, I'm going to use the Mary Lou Manizer on another Sephora Pro Fan brush. I have two, one for highlight and one for um, bronzing. So I'm just going to take the Mary Lou and hit the tops of my cheekbones. I love this highlighter. Hit my nose just a little bit. My chin. Cupid's bow. And then just right above my eyebrows. Then I'm going to take my e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set and just spray my face. The spray, or er, the sprayer on this, I can't stand it. It's horrible. My hair is stuck in there. Okay. Now for the eyes, I'm going to take a Profusion Waterproof Eyeliner in black and I'm going to do my waterline and my tight line. Now I'm going to take the black eyeliner and just lightly bring it down into the lashes. very lightly. And also on the lash line up here. Now I'm going to smudge that out with a sponge applicator. Just on the top. I'm going to do the same underneath. Okay. Now with the color Blondie by NARS, I'm going to take that on my e.l.f. fluffy brush. And I'm first going to go on the lid and then blend up into the crease so that most of the color is at the lash line and it fades up into the crease and then towards the brow bone.
I'm also going to take that color underneath the lash line, quite heavy. Now with the color Omega by MAC, I'm going to take a more fluffier, I'm going to take a more fluffier brush. This one is by Coastal Sense or Crown, I'm not sure which one. And I'm just going to focus that on the outer corner and in the crease. And then again underneath the lash line. Now with an e.l.f. flat liner brush, I'm going to take MAC Sketch and I'm just going to put this along the lash line, really close. Just tapping that along the lash line. And smudging up as I go. And I'm also going to put that on the outer half of my lower lash line, really close to the lashes. I'm going to take that first blending brush and just blend that a little bit. Now with a Luxie 239 Precision Shader, I'm going back to that NARS Blondy color. I'm just building up the lid a little bit more. And going back to Omega from MAC. I'm building that up in the crease. For mascara, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Original in black. Actually, first I'm going to curl my lashes. Really? You see that? I do that all the time. All the time. Always. I'm going to take my Sephora lip liner in pink beige and line my lips. And they're fighting. Now I'm going to take Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin lipstick on a lip brush. And in the middle, I'm going to take OCC's Lip Tar in the color Hush. Just a tiny bit on the lip brush. You do not need a lot of this stuff at all.
Okay, here's the final look. It's a super easy, light, cool tone, grunge eye look and neutral lip. It's something that I usually go to when I'm extremely tired and need to cover stuff up. So, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.